So imagine detecting colon cancer with a routine blood draw. No bowel prep, no sedation, no invasive procedure, no awkward stool kit to send off in the mail. Many people, I think, would appreciate that. A new blood-based screening test available here in Michigan promises just that. A simpler, more user-friendly option. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge tested out the process to see if it really is that easy. The blood test, called SHIELD, has been around for about five years in clinical evaluation, but it's been FDA approved since last summer. And while it is the new kid on the block for colon cancer screening, it has a clear advantage compared to other colon cancer testing. To show you exactly how simple it is, the company agreed to run a test on me just like any patient would get. Hi, I'm Gloria. I'm going to be doing your blood work today. Great. Thanks. Nice, nice to meet you. Here I am, rolling up my sleeve to show you how easy this test is. And because it's a blood test, there's nothing fancy needed except someone to draw your blood with a special collection kit that would be available at your doctor's office. If your doctor can't collect your blood at their office, SHIELD will send someone to you to draw your blood at no extra cost. That's what they did in my case. The phlebotomist came to me at the station to collect the sample. Once collected, the sample is packed up and sent to the Garden Lab in California. A couple weeks after I had my blood drawn and the test was sent out, I received this text message with a link for my results. So now, the moment of truth. After following a secure link and entering some basic information to verify your identity, view result, it is downloading, and there's my report. The result was thankfully negative. These results are sent at the same time to your physician, so if you have any questions about your results or you need follow-up, they're also immediately aware. Dr. Sam Asgarian is Vice President of Clinical Development at Garden, the company behind the SHIELD test. This is a physician-ordered test, so you have to have that conversation with your doctor, your PCP, a specialist, the doctor that you see regularly and then they order the test. The test is then just a simple blood draw done wherever blood is drawn. We get the kit and we provide the results. This is a blood test looking for colon cancer. What is exactly measuring in the blood that identifies the potential for colon cancer? Yeah, what it does, which is really powerful, is it takes the blood and it looks for tumor DNA. And if it can find tumor DNA, and it's specifically looking for colorectal cancer tumor DNA, then it makes a positive call. Because as you know, we shouldn't have any of that DNA in our blood. And so if it doesn't, it's a negative. And if it does, it's a positive. Overall, the test is very good at detecting abnormal colon cancer DNA in a person's blood. Overall sensitivity is on par with colonoscopy, Cologuard and Fit. It's 83% sensitive. That means that only 17% of people who are negative are a false negative, right? So that is actually a great sign. But when it comes to specifically detecting cancer beyond stage one? In the uh, stage two, three, and four, in that study, it showed 100% sensitivity. So really phenomenal. It's indicated for average risk. So truly just 45 and older, no signs or symptoms. Um, they're healthy individuals. We want to keep them healthy. If, if you have signs or symptoms, that's a different conversation to have with your doctor, right? So if you are starting to feel some of those scenarios where it's more symptomatic, um, there are obviously there more need to move towards a colonoscopy, and we totally understand that. If your SHIELD blood test is negative, you're considered clear for three years. After three years, it's recommended you return to your doctor for additional screening recommendations. Now, if your SHIELD test is positive, you need to follow up with your doctor to arrange a colonoscopy for more detailed evaluation. Here's the bottom line, and I want to be crystal clear. Colonoscopy is considered the gold standard in screening for colon cancer. It can both identify cancer and remove precancerous abnormalities, which no other screening test can do. But if you are somebody that's not going to agree to a screening colonoscopy, this test is 100% better than putting your head in the sand and not getting screened. Back to you. All right, thank you, Frank. And it is important to know because this blood test is an approved screening tool for colon cancer, it is covered by Medicare and the Veterans Affairs Community Care Network. However, because it is a relatively new test, it's not covered by all private insurances, but coverage is expanding. Now, if your doctor recommends the SHIELD test, you should check with your insurance carrier to find out if it's covered. And if you do want to talk to your doctor about this test, we did post a fact sheet, also a brochure on clickondetroit.com. The QR code will take you directly to the story with all those materials to make that conversation a little easier to get started. You can also watch Dr. McGeorge's video explaining how the Cologuard work or stool test works if you are perhaps considering that option.